Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to simplify an extended ratio. Now, an extended ratio may seem imposing at first, but once you see how it is set up, you can actually use an extended ratio to solve uh, different problems. Now, suppose you have an example where the extended ratio was 4 to 7 to 9, and you want to use this to find a structure of a perimeter, let's just say, uh, is, let's just say 520. Now, what the 4 to 7 to 9 uh, ratio means that you can set it up as 4x, 7x, and 9x. And what you do with uh, those particular ratios when you convert them to terms is you actually add them and you set it equal to whatever number they might give you. In this case, I just use 520. Now, all you have to do is just kind of simplify that. 4x plus 7x plus 9x is going to give you 20x. That's going to give you 520. And then divide both sides by 20, this cancels, you have x is equal to, the zeros cancel, 52 divided by 2 is going to give you 26. Now what that basically means here is, you plug in the 26, and everywhere you see x, and then so it'll be 4 times 26, 7 times 26, and 9 times 26, and you'll be good to go. But that's the power of uh, extended ratios, because they really help you with any particular problems. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief, de brief demonstration on how to simplify an extended ratio.